Anyone who regularly takes I-590 southbound during the morning rush hour and gets off at Winton Road in Brighton, a suburb of Rochester, New York, is familiar with the heavy traffic conditions. Similarly, anyone who regularly travels on Winton Road during the afternoon commute knows all too well about the long backups one can experience trying to access the I-590 expressway. It is not uncommon for cars to be backed up in the evening, nearly blocking the intersections at the driveway to the Jewish home, the Meridian Center office park, and even back to the bridge over the Erie Canal. It's when traffic is backed up and delayed that motorists find themselves in fender benders and even more serious T-bone type accidents. The problem stems from motorists waiting to make left-hand turns. The New York State Department of Transportation has come up with a plan to eliminate the troublesome left turns and keep people moving through the interchange. The DOT is constructing what is known as a diverging diamond interchange at this location that will allow traffic to move more efficiently and safely. With this new traffic pattern, motorists will experience reduced delays during their morning and afternoon commutes. Essentially, the interchange will operate much as it does today, with a few improvements to better move traffic. Since this is a new concept, this video will help familiarize motorists, bicyclists, and pedestrians with the new design. The beauty of this traffic pattern is that it is designed to shift two directions of traffic temporarily to the left side of the road for easy and direct access to the left-hand on-ramp. A diverging diamond interchange is meant to move high volumes of traffic through an intersection without increasing the number of lanes and traffic signals. In this case, it will provide easier access to I-590. Traffic entering or exiting an interstate does not have to cross opposing traffic to make a left turn. Here's how it will work. When driving through the diverging diamond interchange, motorists proceed through an intersection with a traffic signal and simply follow their lane to the opposite side of the roadway before crossing back and resuming their original pattern. This design will eliminate the conflict with oncoming vehicles and reduce the number of traffic signal phases. The position of traffic signals, signs, pavement markings, raised concrete islands, and a tall center median where lanes crisscross will serve as visual cues to guide motorists through the interchange. As illustrated here, for example, motorists traveling Winton Road northbound or southbound will encounter a traffic signal where they will stop if the light is red or go straight if the light is green. Then, they'll be on the left side of Winton Road with the opposing lanes on their right, separated by concrete barriers and glare screens. They can then cross back over to the other side of Winton Road at the second traffic signal. If traveling north on Winton Road heading to I-590 southbound, drivers will stay in the left lane, as they do now then take the on-ramp to the expressway without having to stop at a traffic light. If traveling north on Winton Road and headed onto I-590 northbound, drivers will remain in the right lane and turn onto the expressway as they do now. The diverging diamond interchange makes it easy to access the on-ramps. To turn left, stay in the left lane. To turn right, stay in the right lane. Motorists traveling north on I-590 who want to take the exit ramp to Winton Road toward 12 Corners in Brighton, drive left under the bridge. Motorists traveling north on I-590 who want to travel south on Winton Road toward Henrietta, stay in the right lanes and go right onto Winton Road. Motorists heading south on I-590 from Webster who want to travel south on Winton Road Simply stay to the left and continue under the bridge. Motorists heading south on I-590 who want to travel north on Winton Road toward 12 Corners in Brighton, stay in the right lane and keep right. Movements in a diverging diamond interchange are straightforward, simpler, easier, and quicker. Diverging diamond interchanges are also easy and safe for bicyclists. They will follow the travel lane and obey the traffic signal crossing to the left side of the roadway. An alternative for the less experienced bicyclist is the multi-use sidewalk. And walkers will benefit too. Pedestrians walking along Winton Road will use the multi-use sidewalks and cross the ramps at the crosswalks. To cross Winton Road, they will use the crosswalks at the traffic signals 
at Cambridge Place to the north of I-590 and French Road to the south of I-590. The diverging diamond interchange will allow easier access to and from the expressway at the Winton Road interchange. Backups and delays will be minimized and traffic will flow smoothly, resulting in fewer collisions. The end result is that a diverging diamond at this location will mean increased safety and greater convenience for drivers, passengers, cyclists, and pedestrians. For more information on this project, visit the project website at dot.ny.gov slash 590 Winton or email questions to 590 Winton at dot.state.ny.us.